Okay, so we're going to get into some multiplication review. This is similar to what we did towards the beginning of the year in the first and second units of math. But here we're moving towards other multiplication methods eventually, and you're making a quick sketch of these. For all of these here, you're basically looking at two digits times one digit, and that means you can simply draw two rectangles to illustrate the problem. So for 36 times 5, I can do 5 here, and then I would do all of the 30 together, and then I would do 6, and I'll label the 6 and the 5, and at that point, I can draw a couple rectangles. This first rectangle here would give me 5 times 30, and that would be uh, 150. And the second rectangle here is going to be 6 times 5, or 5 times 6. And then I add those up for a final answer. So I think these should be, um, the rest of these are pretty similar. I think you can do these other ones on your own. <clears throat> and then down here we have the same idea, but now you're not solving these with um, rectangles anymore. You're just doing the same method. We call this partial products because you're doing two parts of the products. So over here, this one you're going to have 4 times 60 equals what? And 4 times 5 equals what for this one? You might have your another method, but please use this method for now. If you have a uh, hundreds place, it's the same idea. I'll start with 7 times 300. And then I'll do the tens place. That would be 7 times 20. And one of the keys here is you write very neatly with columns. So everything is lined up perfectly. And it will be easy to add it when you're done. So I'd fill in that and then add it all together to see what the answer is. I think this next page is very similar. I don't think uh, anything really changes here. Uh, so again, for these first ones, draw a sketch. I'll do one more with you. 27 times 5. Let's do that. There is my sketch. I have 5 times 20. And again, just write it so that you can line things up neatly. And then, oh, I forgot to put my 7 there. Then I have 5 times 7. And then I add them together for the final answer. So, um, again, I think the rest of these you should be able to do on your own. Same method. And uh, that's it for today. When you're done for with this, you don't need to upload it please do Khan Academies and there'll be a similar activity so we can see if you understand it on Khan Academy. Thank you.